Hello, and welcome to Board Game TV. Hope you're doing well. And uh, for a special treat for this October, this Halloween, I wanted to show off something a little different. I wanted to show off my Lee Max Spooky Town collection. Um, this is a hobby that I got into a few years ago. Well, it's no secret that I love Halloween. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that. Um, I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. And I think about six, seven years ago, I uh, was in Michael's. That's where I get my paints and stuff to paint my miniatures for my board games. And I just happened to go in there and they had a display for their Lee Max Spooky Town Halloween. Um, Lee Max, every year, I think since 2000 or 2001, they've been around 20 plus years, have put out different spooky town houses and stuff and I said you know uh, one day I'm gonna I'm gonna get interested in that that looks like a hobby that looks like it's fun um, to collect to do and one year I'm gonna take it seriously so about maybe four years ago I started my collection and started getting my pieces ready um, and I've been collecting ever since and I said this year, you know what, I want to finally build me a display and theme it to where I want to uh, have it done the way I want to do and um, have my kids get involved a little bit with a little bit of a backdrop here. And and I decided to do that. So, um, if anybody's ever interested in this hobby, which is, is a fun hobby, it's an expensive hobby, but it's a fun hobby, um, I'll just give you a little tips maybe some information on it but there are two big companies that put out these type of houses and one of them is Lee Max and where I live and I think um, for a lot part of the most of the United States um, they have an online shop you can get you can get it at Amazon stuff like that but Michaels is the big participator over here Michaels Arts and Crafts and Michaels usually has exclusives and so um, usually around the beginning of August late July they start putting up their Halloween stuff and when you go there they'll have a little catalog of everything that they're gonna have out that, that year and um, so you can see what you want now I would recommend you can see something like this, this Black Raven Manor here that I have, which came out this year, which is one of my favorites, and I'll show you what it does in a little bit. Um, goes for like 120 bucks. These things aren't cheap, but they're they're quality made. I have some pieces here that are older that are from 2006, 2007 that still work. So they're well made. Um, but if you go to Michael's towards the end of September, beginning of October, they'll have all their Lee Max stuff on a deep discount. I bought this the beginning of September, they had it discounted for 40% off. And I know a couple weeks later towards the end of September, beginning of October, they had it even discounted even more. So it's a great way to save money. You just have to hit it right because if you if you they sell out and they don't restock, then you kind of waited too long. However, if, if you go early, you're not going to get the deep discount. So that's one thing you might want to think about. But um, I always try to hit Michael's in late September. Um, they usually still have good stock, and you can get stuff on a deep discount. Uh, another thing is eBay. Now, I got a lot of these pieces on eBay as well. <clears throat> a lot of the older ones because they discontinue pieces after so many years. And once they're discontinued, um, they get a little bit harder. You, you have to get them on the, the you know, the, the eBay type market type thing. Um, there's only a few pieces that are really hard to find collector's pieces um, that are really expensive. Yeah, you know, out of 20 plus years. They've only got maybe five or six that are really, <clears throat> really up there in price. And most of them are car the carnival pieces. So, um, 
there's that to look at. Another thing is the power strips. Believe it or not, I have to use four power strips to power all this stuff. And let me tell you, um, I, I didn't use, use the cheap ones either, not the $10 power strips. I had to use the expensive ones to hold all these things. Now, if you are going to get in this hobby, I would recommend all the newer Limax have the plug here. And then this goes into the back of the house. Now this won't work on some of the older ones, but they do sell adapters where you can fit three of these onto one plug. And that helps a lot. That saves up a lot of space. Otherwise, you're going to have power strips <laughs> crawling out your butt. I mean, it was just, it was just bad. So I, I did use one of those on some, and that was the only reason I only had to use four power strips. Uh, if I didn't have that adapter thing to where I could do three houses in one, um, I would have had to get at least maybe one or two more power strips. Now the older houses you can't do that with because they have the big thick AC adapters that are really big. And uh, so that, that won't work with those kind of things. Um, so I would recommend picking a theme. Now Lemax has several type themes for their for their haunted houses they have um, my theme is the residential neighborhood um, I have a couple more pieces that I just didn't put out my favorite one actually is the haunted pyramid which has a mummy pop out and music gypsy music playing and stuff it's really cool but doesn't fit a the theme um, and there's like three other houses I want that I hit my limit this year for spending on this I just set myself a limit and I hit my limit so I think over the year I may try to go back and get a couple of those houses I want. They're mostly newer houses, so it shouldn't be that too hard to get. Um, but they have carnival, they have the haunted houses, they have the cutesy houses, they have hell. Even one year they have pirate, they have apocalyptic theme, they have. Uh, business themes like I have a mortuary and they have all that kind of stuff but I went for the residential theme with a pumpkin patch in the middle and then I put my uh, monsters castle on this hill overlooking um, my village because I have Frankenstein and Dracula and I wanted uh, to be like the old uh, 1930s Frankenstein or Dracula where the castle's up on the hill overlooking the village below. I, I like that type of thing. So, <clears throat> um, so that's the kind of theme I went with, but you can do any theme you want. And then I, you know, once you have your theme set up, you can come make your display. Now, I am not a crafts person. I suck at that kind of making crafts and doing that kind of stuff. So, I... If I can do something like this, anybody can. And what I did was, I took, I went to Home Depot, and I got this uh, foam, styrofoam insulation. I think it's like the 250 type or whatever. And, you know, I, of course, it's, there's the back of it right there. I got like 16 feet of it, two 8 feet ones, and I had to cut them, of course. But what I did was, of course, I painted them a base. Uh, which was brown and then um, I wanted them to be on the rocks on the rocky hillside so I carved into the side of the things which took forever to do as you can see and then I went and I on each tier going up because I wanted them to be like on a mountainside I carved some steps but those are like destroyed steps but like here um, as you can see I have steps here and I have steps there and I carved some steps in there, and then of course I painted them to make it look rocky. I, I did a, the brown, and then the brown, I did, I did the black. Then I did a, a, a gray, and then um, a lighter gray, and then a brush-dried pewter gray on it to give it that stone look. And then I, um, this is the grass you can get at um, Michael's that come with the Lemax stuff. They're not that expensive. They're like, I don't know, 10 bucks. But if you get them on deep discount, you can get like two for two for 10, that type of thing. And they're pretty big. And then I, I bought like four of them. And I just cut them to fit. 
and so I have the grass on the ground and then I got some peat moss or some moss and I wanted the hillside to be different so I got some adhesive foam spray and sprayed the side of the things here to make it like the, the rocks jut out and stuff and uh, then I got some adhesive glue and just sprayed it down and put peat moss on certain areas to cover it up to make it look more realistic that peat moss is expensive I can't I mean that bag of moss was about 20 bucks and I was like God just for moss but as you see some of it's come off over time and the, the kid hitting it so um, and then I just designed the way I wanted it set up I have it on the three tiers so you can kind of see each house clearly the best you can um, and I put as much on there I fit as much on there as I could without getting overcrowded and I had my kids do a little backdrop with glow-in-the-dark paint so that's a glow-in-the-dark moon and then he drew like a glow-in-the-dark ghost face in the sky type thing so um, and so that works with that but that's basically you know it took me a couple days to do it, it took me a it took me almost well no more than a couple days it took me about a week to get everything set up um, working on it and uh, it's my first attempt so I'm somewhat proud of it but I know I you know over the years I guess I can do better but I'm like I said I'm not a crass person but it it felt good in this day and age of quarantine to um, work on stuff like this to kind of relax me and get me in the Halloween mood and spirit and collect stuff and it did it did did kind of was kind of therapy for me and I think I'm about leaving this up year round honestly this was a, a pain to put together and then maybe add something to the side over here so I can put my other three houses that I want and who knows what they're gonna come out with next year so um, you know put moss here spot moss here and there on there and then put a rock there try to cover up the cords as much as you can but that kind of gets to be where it's unrealistic but in the dark you can't see them so I'm gonna show you what some of the houses do I think this is the uh, this is an older one this is the um, well, how does this thing turn on this is the, like the nightmare I can't remember what's the name of this thing the nightmare or the monster on 34th Street or something like that Anyways, it looks. The reason I got it is because it kind of looked like the Animeville Horror House, or it looked like the Monster House um, to me. And then this one right here, I can't remember which this one is. But it has the bats, as you can see. And as you can hear, it has some pretty cool music sounds. It has the bats swirling above it. So it's pretty neat, and then I'll show you all this when it gets dark. But, I mean, it's pretty good. And then I think this one right here, this is one of the older ones. It doesn't work as good, but it does do what it's supposed to do. It doesn't make any noise, but um, as you can see, you can see through the ghostly windows there. Then I have um, this one right here. I think this is Nightmare on. 34th Street or Oak Street or something and it's just a simple lighthouse I just got it because it looks like a spooky cool house um, this here is one of my favorites um, it has the cats Black Cat Manor I think this is called or something like that it has the lightning and the cats Um, and this here is Frankenstein's Manor. And what happens is, is he, you see, see, that's why I wanted to keep these in. And have them overlook the village. Then I have the haunted windmill.
And then we have Dracula here. Now Dracula is one of the old ones, so you have to be careful what you do. Plug it in. But it's pretty cool. Dracula comes out the house there. <laughs> he flies, but for some reason he's flying backwards. And I don't know why, but I still like it. I think it's really neat. Although it's showing its age, it's one of the older pieces again. But yeah, he he flies backwards. <laughs> Gravity's not helping. And then let's see here. Um, this one right here is another one that I like. I think the bats are supposed to move. Morbid Manor. Yeah, I think that's the name of this one. Come inside. And this is the bell tower, the bloody belfry. I think this is pretty neat. It's one of my favorites. I got it on a discount. It was one of the last ones there. I think I got it at the end of... Uh, September, beginning of October, a couple years back. And then this one right here is Ghostly Manor, and I got this one on a deep discount too. As you can see what it does, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I got that one for like half off. So I was very pleased with that. And this was a Michaels exclusive at the time. And then, um, let's see, we have this one right here. Has the cool haunted music. doesn't do anything it it does light up but it doesn't make any noises or anything um, this one right here turn that on <clears throat> Ravensburg Manor or Black Raven Manor I'm sorry is really cool this was the standout for me this year Enjoy this one. It's one of my favorites. And then let's see, we have. I think we have. Um, which one is this one? Boomstick Manor. Uh, it doesn't do anything but light up. Let's see. Turn that one on. I thought I turned it on. Um, that one's getting old. <laughs> this one I think broke recently. It used to make noise, but it doesn't <laughs> doesn't do anything anymore. It just has the light come on. I'm upset about that because that one was a pretty good one. Then I have Goosebumps Manor. Which just makes lights and then the lodge here. The boogeyman lodge or house. So he moves. So 
So I'm going to turn them on and I'm going to show you what they look like in the dark. And we'll take a quick tour. So in the dark, this is what it's starting to look like. And you see some of them look like they'll be on their last leg, but some of them are still working pretty good. Uh, the disappearing ghost in that house right there still looks pretty cool. Um, I have my little Grim Reaper statue up there. Um, I probably should put more little light more on this pumpkin thing. I do have these. I don't know how good they are, but I have these little. strobe lights <laughs> you could put right there do that but I mean just imagine going to sleep <laughs> to this at night I mean it's pretty awesome I just sit there I can sit here and just look at these all day you know and I'll probably tweak this before next year but more backlighting and stuff because I wanted that one backlit right here. But as you see, this one this one works really good even though it's old as hell. So, and like I said, some of these are, are really, really old, and they still work really good. Even this one, even though that doesn't play its music, it's still... I think I saw... I tested it when I first tested all my stuff out. It worked. And then I went and plug it in when I got it up here, and I saw smoke coming out of the top of it. And I was like, uh-oh, something burned out, I think. So, But even this one still has a little ghost you can see in there. It just doesn't, just doesn't move around. And as you see, the barn does get lit up <clears throat> I have my little blue lights there and then there's the, the ghostly tree here it has the green in it so I like that a lot and then the tower and then that the way that looks all the purple and everything Frankenstein coming up to the lightning. And of course, the windmill has the guy there. I'll, I put the windmill next to Frankenstein's castle, even though there's not much room there because of the, um, you know, in the movie. He gets burned up at the windmill, so I thought that fit appropriate. But yeah, there's my little town. You can barely notice the steps in the dark. And, uh, of course, old Frankie moving in and out there. I said I'm not really good at this stuff uh, it's just a passion and um, for my first year trying to make a good display I think I did all right um, but I enjoy it. it it greatly enhances the mood of October I mean it it was so much fun working on it although it was tiring um, and it's so much fun collecting these houses and deciding which one you're gonna get and like I said, if I had the money, if I were rich, 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 
I'd also do a carnival theme. I'd try to get all the carnival pieces they have, although some of those are rare and expensive. So I think the whole carnival thing, that's some really cool carnival rides, monster rides, carnival stuff. And of course, if I had the space, that it would be great. But yeah, I put a few little knickknacks in there. I got a, a blood fountain there, a little bridge there. I don't, know, I don't know if I should have this thing strobe. Um, some hay and some kitty cats and some pumpkins. And my son, you know, he painted these little things to be the pumpkins and stuff. So the kids got involved and they enjoyed it. And they really did enjoy helping me out with this. They helped me plan it. They helped me um, uh, construct some of it and help me decide where everything was going to go. So that's my Limax Spooky Town Halloween 2020 display. I thought I'd share it with y'all for a special Halloween treat. Um, you know, if you're looking in to get, if this interests you, um, let me know in the comments if you got any questions or anything like that about this hobby. This is a wonderful hobby to get into. It's an expensive one, but it's a wonderful one. And if you pace yourself right and you find the right deals, it's not as expensive as it could be. You could actually get some really good deals on eBay and of course Michaels when they put stuff on deep discount and just prepare for next year. Um, and they have so much of a variety of different themes. You can always find anything you like. I had fun making this stuff and doing it with my family. Um, we enjoyed it. It always gets us in the mood. I wish I could put this in the living room but the wife won't let me. Well, the baby won't let me either. The baby would destroy it. And I have a hard enough time now <laughs> stopping the baby from destroying it as it is. Um, but they enjoyed uh, helping me make it. We, we spent a day. We figured out where each piece would go. Um, they helped with some of the painting, the backdrops, all kinds of stuff. My wife, when she would go to the dollar store, she would pick up little knickknacks like this little bridge and that little blood fountain. That little tree, I think this thing, and the little cats. Now the, the ghost tree there runs on batteries. That's part of the Lee Max collection. And the Grim Reaper up there is part of the Lee Max collection that I got at a deep discount. The little other mini house is not. It's a little dollar store thing that I just put there for some space. And um yeah, I hope it gets you in the Halloween mood and uh, I hope it inspires you to do something for your Halloween if you love Halloween as much as I do and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time until then have fun